Congress members should be automatically expelled from Congress if they've been caught committing a bunch of crimes, even just one crime. We sh there shouldn't be some kind of long, arduous process of getting these people removed. Expel them and charge them, put them on trial, and send them to jail. We, will, we would have less uh, corrupt Congress members if the moment your crimes were made public, you would be expelled and put on trial. And we've been talking all morning about momentum building in the House to expel New York Congressman George Santos. We've just learned the wheels are now in motion. Mississippi Republican Congressman Michael Guest, the chairman of the House Ethics Committee, has introduced a new motion to get rid of Santos. A similar effort failed earlier this month, but things have apparently changed now that the Ethics Committee has released the findings of its investigation into Santos. That report is offering new insight into his alleged campaign misdeeds. Scripps News Congressional Court Correspondent Nathaniel Reed is here with the details. After a scathing report from the House Ethics Committee, Representative George Santos of New York announcing on X, the site formerly known as Twitter, he will no longer seek re-election in 2024. In his statement, Congressman Santos saying, quote, I will continue my mission to serve my constituents up until I am allowed. I will, however, not be seeking re-election for a second term in 2024, as my family deserves better than to be under the gun from the press all the time. Well, the report from the House Oops, I, I, I like I like that he says he's going to serve his constituents until he's a, until he's not allowed to. Um, how is he conserving his constituents? I mean, I guess maybe he was buying their OnlyFans and maybe like buying luxury goods from some of the um, wealthier business constituents that he knew, but. Uh, this dude has been found out to have been misappropriating a lot of funds. House Ethics Committee did not make any recommendations about whether to remove Representative Santos from Congress. It was indeed scathing. In an excerpt of that report, the Ethics Committee finding that Representative Santos sought to fraudulently exploit every aspect of his House candidacy for his own personal financial profit. They said he blatantly stole from his campaign and deceived donors into providing what they thought were contributions to his campaign, but were in fact payments for his own personal benefit. Some of the most eyebrow-raising things that Representative Santos allegedly spent money on only fans, Botox treatments, and designer clothing, money that was given to him by people who thought they were contributing to his campaign. The house has well, no wonder he looks so young at the moment. All that Botox and how else is he going to, you know, get expensive clothing if he doesn't con a bunch of people out of money? And wow, buying OnlyFans, that's pretty hilarious. Isn't this dude a Republican? I thought Republicans hated OnlyFans. Ethics Committee not issuing recommendations to remove him from Congress, instead saying, quote, Representative Santos is entitled to due process and will have his day in court. And the House should take whatever action it deems appropriate in light of the investigative subcommittee's findings. Now, Representative Santos is expected to face another expulsion resolution when he returns from the Thanksgiving holiday. It's not clear that he will survive it this time. The last time, a number of Democrats and Republicans refused to vote in favor of removing George Santos from Congress, calling it premature, saying the Justice Department should continue to work through his case and allow that to play out in federal court. This 